In other news, two Canadians are on the run tonight after allegedly pulling off what U.S. officials are calling one of the largest penny stock frauds in history. Victims in more than 30 countries, including hundreds here in Canada, were bilked out of $140 million. As Christina Stevens reports tonight, several others are already behind bars. We are here to announce a 24-count indictment charging nine individuals with the largest penny stock fraud scheme in history. Of the nine accused, four are Canadian. Colt Curry and Gregory Ellis, both of Ontario, have been arrested, while Gregory Curry and Sandy Winnick remain at large in Thailand. The leader of this criminal conspiracy, defendant Sandy Winnick. His pool of victims, literally the world. It's believed hundreds of Canadians are among the victims. In all, officials say investors were defrauded of $140 million, mostly from a pump and dump scheme. That's when a promoter has a bunch of worthless stocks and pumps the price up. Then when the stocks hit a prearranged high, they sell their shares and the stock price plummets. Officials say the shares were run up by a variety of means. They endorsed false information about stock companies and their products. They pro promoted partnerships that never existed, offered kickbacks, match trades. Then they allegedly engaged in an advance fee scheme where for money up front they promised to help investors recoup their losses, something which never happened. The FBI says in a wiretap, Colt Curry bragged, I had a guy send me a million dollars over one phone call. He actually sent me almost two million dollars over the period of the hit. I guess in the industry you coin it as a smash and grab. Penny stocks are cheap stocks sold by companies with little in the way of assets or earnings in the early stages of, say, exploration in mining or concept of an idea. There's really two types of penny stocks. There's legitimate companies that are trying to, uh, to accomplish something. Many of them will not, okay, and then there are scams. The problem, he says, is it's difficult to tell which oh. you're dealing with. Oh, it's super high risk, super high risk. He says if you want to hold penny stocks, you'd better know something about it. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto. Two former traders at J.P. Morgan, America's largest bank, are now facing criminal charges related to more than $6 billion in trading losses last year. The London-based traders face several charges, including wire fraud, falsifying books, and making false statements. Billions of dollars in losses were allegedly hidden in what's become known as the London Whale Incident.